In a kingdom full of happiness and joy, the Hello? king and queen lived. They dreamed of only one thing, to have a child. When they had already lost all hope, their daughter was born. She was very sweet and beautiful. On this occasion, a great celebration was arranged, and many guests were invited to the palace, among whom were good sorceresses. They were given the warmest, most cordial welcome. But the king and queen made a big mistake, they forgot to invite another sorceress. She had not left her tower for many years, and everyone thought that she had died long ago. When the time came to give gifts to the princess, the fairies generously rewarded her with beauty, a kind heart, intelligence, a beautiful voice, the ability to dance and play various musical instruments. When the turn came to the last sorceress, an evil fairy, whom they forgot to invite to the holiday, unexpectedly entered the hall. Cutlery was immediately brought for her, but she felt that she was not received as respectfully as she should have. Pulling the goblet and plate away from her, she muttered a spell. The sorceress wished that on the day of her 16th birthday, the princess pricked her hand with a spindle, and from this she died. The queen wept bitterly at the wish of the evil sorceress, and the king ordered to seize the witch. But she had already disappeared with an ominous laugh. Fortunately, the last of the fairies has not yet had time to say her wish to the princess. She could not undo the spell, but promised that the girl would not die, but would only fall asleep deeply until she was awakened by the kiss of love. The king immediately ordered the destruction of all spindles in the kingdom. And then came the day of the princess's 16th birthday, the day that the evil fairy spoke about. The princess grew up to be a beautiful and kind girl. The king ordered three sorceresses to watch over her. Fairies guarded her like the apple of an eye. On this day, the king and queen locked the girl in a room to prevent a terrible event. But the princess did not want to be locked up. Suddenly, a door appeared in the wall of her room, which the girl had never seen. She heard strange sounds outside the door. Burning with curiosity, and not knowing what awaited her, the girl entered her. The door led into a dark room in which a woman was sitting with her back to the princess. She was spinning. The girl had never seen a spindle in her life. She became curious. The princess went to the spindle, touched it, pricked her finger and fell into a deep sleep. And that woman turned out to be an evil fairy who was very happy that her spell had come true. Now everyone called the princess Sleeping Beauty. Upon learning of the misfortune, the kind sorceress decided to put the king and queen and the whole kingdom to sleep until the girl awakens. Soon, such impenetrable thickets of trees and thorny bushes grew around the castle that no one could get through such a thicket. A hundred years later, a handsome prince from another kingdom went hunting. Seeing from afar the towers of the abandoned castle, he remembered the old story about the sleeping beauty that his parents had told him. And the prince decided to get inside. He struggled to make his way through the impenetrable thickets of trees and thorny bushes. But in the end, the prince approached the gates of the abandoned castle. He walked around the entire castle, and looked into the throne room. There the prince saw the king and queen sleeping. Then, in one of the rooms, he noticed Sleeping Beauty, she was sleeping on a bed decorated with flowers. The prince went to the bed, looked at the beautiful princess, and felt love fill his heart. He could not restrain himself and kissed Sleeping Beauty. And at that moment, she opened her eyes and saw a handsome prince. The king and queen also woke up, as did the whole kingdom. They were overjoyed. And in honor of the bride and groom, the most beautiful wedding that the world has ever seen was arranged right there. Since then they have lived happily ever after. Once upon a time, there was a woman who had no children. She once went to a good witch for help. The woman said she was dreaming of a child. The sorceress gave her a seed and ordered to plant it in a flower pot. The woman was very happy, thanked the old woman, and went home. At home, she planted a seed, watered it, and began to wait patiently. Soon a large wonderful flower, like a tulip, grew in the pot. When its petals opened, there was a tiny girl inside. She was very small, no more than an inch. Therefore, the woman called her Thumbelina. 
One night, when Thumbelina was fast asleep, a huge toad climbed onto the window of the house, wet and ugly. She grabbed the sleeping girl and hurried to her swamp. The toad decided to marry her ugly son to the beautiful Thumbelina. She planted her in the middle of the river on a wide lily leaf so that the girl would not run away. In the morning Thumbelina woke up, and realized that she was not at home, but there was water around her. When the girl realized what a terrible fate awaited her, she wept bitterly. At this moment, small fish swam past. They felt sorry for Thumbelina. They gnawed at the stem of the lily, and the leaf floated with the flow with the girl. A large beetle flew past. Seeing a beautiful girl, he grabbed her and carried her to a tree, where he introduced her to his friends. They all envied her beauty, but said that Thumbelina was very ugly and could not be in their company. Under pressure from acquaintances, the beetle also decided that she was ugly, lowered the girl to the ground and said goodbye. All summer Thumbelina lived alone in the forest. She made a cradle for herself from grass and leaves. She ate on pollen and dew, basked in the sun in clear weather, and hid from the rain under a large leaf of burdock. But soon cold rains and winds came. Thumbelina did not have a winter outfit, and she began to freeze. The girl suffered from hunger and cold. And one day she was sheltered by a field mouse. They lived together gloriously, the girl helped the mouse with the housework, told her fairy tales, and in return received warm housing and food. The field mouse had a neighbor, a wealthy blind mole, who did this by counting his wealth all the time. Even being blind, the mole realized that Thumbelina was very cute and offered to marry her. But the girl was not at all happy about this. She did not like the boring mole. Once, walking along the underground passages, Thumbelina saw a wounded swallow, which almost died of the cold. Oh, no. All winter she took care of the sick bird and by the spring she cured her. Before the wedding, Thumbelina asked the mouse to let her go upstairs to admire the sun at last. Okay. When she climbed out of the mouse hole, she saw a swallow, which she cured. Thumbelina complained to the bird that she was being forced to marry a nasty mole and live with him deep underground. The swallow invited the girl to fly with her to warm lands, and she agreed. She quickly said goodbye to the mouse, climbed onto the swallow, and they flew away. Once in a wonderful country, Thumbelina saw a huge meadow with beautiful flowers. She chose the most beautiful flower for herself to live in. Suddenly, she saw in the flower the same little man as she, only with wings. It was the king of the elves. And an elf lived in every flower. The beautiful elf has never seen a girl as small as himself, and even so beautiful. He immediately fell in love with Thumbelina, and invited her to become his wife, the queen of the elves and the queen of flowers. After all her adventures, the girl was happy to hear such an offer from the charming prince. She happily agreed. The elf took Thumbelina by the hand, and at the same moment two wings appeared behind her. Now she has become the queen of the elves. And since then they have lived happily ever after.